now let us see the third definition which is in the same category that is a non reflexive relation that is a non reflexive relation so this definition can be uh, derived from the above two a relation r a relation r defined on a set a defined on a set a is non reflexive is non reflexive if it is neither reflexive nor irreflexive which is neither reflexive nor irreflexive or we can define it in this way that r will have a r a for some a belongs to set a for some so here we are not saying that for none no it's not none and for all no it's not for all it's for some okay so let us understand this non reflexive relation with the help of the example let us say that we have set a with elements 1 2 and 3 and there is a relation r is defined on a such that 1 comma 1 is there 1 comma 2 is there and 1 comma 3 is there so we can say this is not a reflexive relation why because only 1 comma 1 is there and there is no 2 comma 2 and there is no 3 comma 3 into the relation r so that is why it's not a reflexive relation then it's neither an irreflexive relation because uh, for the irreflexive relation none of these should be present into the r but we can say this 1 comma 1 is here so it's neither reflexive nor irreflexive and hence it is non reflexive relation okay so this is a non reflexive relation and we can also say that for some a that is belonging to a a r a is true here and what is that some a it's one so for one belonging to set a one r one is true in this case so that is why this is called as a non reflexive relation